from all around you long. I'm here to tell you how football is strong. We're the Good morning and welcome back to the GDFL Netball Show. Uh, we're just going to have a, a bit of a closer look at the two A-grade games from last weekend and some of the matchups that I know that we discussed last week on the show. So in the Werribee and Bell Post Hill game, um, probably a few matchups that we t would like to talk about. Amanda, you've probably got them in front of you there. Yeah, I do. I do. So some key matchups were, um, of course, we'll start. We'll start with Kim Martin. Um, yep. She's an easy one to start with. So Amanda Wilson lined up on um, Kim Martin for the first three quarters of the game and played a very controlled, well-disciplined game on her. Mm -hmm. um, Kim, I believe, probably won that won that position yeah. where it was lost for Bell Post Hill was probably in the in the goal attack position, mm -hmm. and the support for Kim under the ring. Um, Hannah scored, I think, four four or five goals for for Bell Post Hill, which is, I think, I know that it hasn't been extremely high that Kim is the main goal scorer, but I, I didn't think that that was probably one of her better games um, yeah. for Hannah. So Hannah lined up on Olivia Mitchell. Mm -hmm. um, Olivia is a very, very physical, excessively physical player on the court. Um, I thought Olivia played a better game in goal defence than what she did in goalkeeper when she went back on Kim mm -hmm. in the last quarter. She was very undisciplined um, and a lot of unnecessary contacts. Yep. Do, do you think it's maybe Olivia's better out there because she's got the chance to run around and um, yep. move a bit more than mm. she has back in goal and being restrictive back on Kim. Read the play a little yeah. bit better and be yeah. on the yeah. move with that. Yeah. 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 Jenny Gardner for Werribee um, in their goal circle didn't take the court. Um, Michaela Ward played a strong three three quarters um, with Maggie Lind. Yeah. Uh, Maggie, I hadn't seen Maggie play at all, and um, she was um, very very impressive goal shooter. Yeah. She worked very very well with Michaela and Asha Ward come on in the last quarter um, for a running goal attack. The Bell Post Hill defenders, um, Danny Davis worked really, really hard all day back in goalkeeper. I, I must say with Danny Davis, her defensive stuff has really, really improved since I've, I've seen her earlier mm. in the year um, against West. I think she's um, spent a lot of time working on that from what I can see because I think that she um, she has improved, that her skills there are, are a lot better than what they were. So well done, Danny. Yeah. Um, Bell Post Hills um, goal defence, Brooke Walters came off, I think, late in the second quarter, if I was correct. I do have the Good. sheet in front of me. In the, where is she, Brooke Walters? In the third. So it was in the third quarter that she came off. Um, I feel that that did impact Bell Post Hill, but the game um, was probably about 10 goals in the balance at that stage when, when Brooke came off and it did blow out a little bit. Was she injured, Ma Amanda, or was, was it just... Um, she'd yeah, had a sore back all week, yeah. and I think that that was that was the reason why she came okay. off. Um, you know, it was hot, physical, yeah. um, and finals are always a different story. And if you're not a hundred percent, you feel it out there. Yeah. Um, Casey Carroll, fantastic, really, really strong in centre. Mm -hmm. um, I thought she she worked tirelessly all day, um, defended, defended, attacked, um, and worked well with Emma Hardy. But once again, that centre court of Werribee. Danny Stewart, Nicole Stewart, yeah. Melissa Jeka. Yeah. Um, yeah, they did. Just too familiar. Yeah, yeah. They, they know each other's games, absolutely, and they, they did did work really well down the midcourt. And, you know, you guys might meet again in the finals, we just don't know, but I, mm. I guess that'll we'll know after this weekend mm. what, what's sort of happening. So Yeah, Terry made a change um, late in the last, or in the last quarter and put um, Danny Davis into goal attack. Mm -hmm. Kim Martin and I um, thought the ball moved a lot better into our attacking attacking third and into our goal circle with Danny there. So she brought something something new, and um, it felt watching the game that we we were a little bit more in control and we, we looked better. We were moving the ball. Um, he then threw Alyssa Boardman into into the circle defence, yeah. and uh, it was good to see Alyssa in there. She's yeah. a tough kid, and you know she she never gives up. So well done, done Alyssa. Yep, well mm. done. And obviously without Nonu being in the team and having some height and jump down there with Danny, mm. I, I guess it's a hard one for Terry to really make that, those mm. sorts of calls. But I guess you need to f figure out where your weakness is and what needs, what needs to be changed. And, mm. you know, unfortunately didn't work on last weekend, but, mm. you know, this weekend's a different ball game. You know, and not taking anything, anything away from Werribee, they... They yep. played hard. They won the game. So well done, Werribee. Yep. Um, I just I noticed a significant difference in the pace of the game on Saturday compared to Sunday. 
Yeah. Um, it was a lot. It was quick. It was lightning fast out there in the um, Werribee Bell Post Hill game compared to the Cry East game. So um, it looked like it was a completely like it stepped up another level. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. I, yeah. I, and I think that um, we will see that this weekend with um, mm. Bell Post taking on Corio. Um, and see how that game goes. We will have a quick look at the Corio and East Geelong game and some of those matchups. Um, you don't have those? No, on? I don't. But we were all <laughs> there watching. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, we were yeah. there watching. Look, I, I put down a couple, like the two defenders, like Mal Bragg with um, Shay Smith, is it? Stacey Smith yeah. and Shay um, with Jamie Matheson. And they... The, the defence had it over on the, mm -hmm. the attacks. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether it roughed up the girls or, or whether they were just a bit down. You know, coming into the first quarter, um, everything was on key, but you could tell it when Cry got that couple of goals ahead of them, East dropped and, and they dropped their heads and you, and you could tell as through the game as the game went on, mm. they really got disheartened, which was a pity because the girls being so young, whether that had an impact on them and Cry being as strong as they were. and. Let's not forget, Cryo's been together for years, yep. so they know each other's game too, and they did really well. The Amy Barton on little Caitlin. Um, I, Amy, well, she was on Caitlin for the first three. Mm. Amy, yeah? Amy was in wing attack. Caitlin was the wing attack. Wing attack. So, okay, who am I thinking of? Um, sorry, I've lost it. Anyway, who Brooke, was it? Brooke Marley. Brooke Marley, was sorry, on. Brooke. And she was that much taller than Caitlin anyway. So, um, and I noticed... When the scent was, when it was um, Caitlin's going out for the ball, I noticed Sonia was taken over from, and and Sonia, um, and Brooke was taking the centre, mm. as in for Mel, isn't it? And um, the centre, Rebecca Mar. Rebecca, Rebecca Mar. Mar. Sorry, Beck, yep. I'm getting confused here. So, but in saying that, um, I think, as I said, the defence had no answer for so, um, for Nicole and for um, now I've lost to Tammy. So. You know, for the matchups, there there wasn't really a key matchup. I didn't think mm. for the game anyway. Yeah. Um, Cryo just ran all over them, and um, and Sonia Harris is for the centre. Um, she she's a thinker, and you can see that on the court. Her mind just ticks away, and yep. and she makes that last minute dash to where she wants yep. to be, and she relies heavily on her other players, and and she'll just get in there and get it when she feels like it. It looked to me yesterday. So, you know, they were running on 50% pace here yesterday. So coming up to Belpost Hill yep. um, this weekend, I tell you what, I, I think they're going to step up a notch too, so it'll be a really close game yep. or... Well, not cl well. I don't know. Yeah. I I'm still thinking about it. Again, I think there's going to be some really interesting matchups in that game. And um, look, I think the experience of Carayo over East Geelong. East have got a very young team, yeah. um, and Carayo have got a very experienced team who've been playing together for years, as, as you said. So, yeah. well done, Carayo. Um, better luck next year, East. Um, you know, you've made finals in so many grades, but just couldn't hold on to this one. Uh, so we'll be back after the break. Football is strong. 